It was a deadly night in San Jose. Police are investigating three homicides at two separate crime scenes. First, there was a shooting around midnight at the Nueva Vallarta restaurant on South Capitol Avenue, and then a deadly stabbing in South San Jose around 3.30 a.m. KPIX 5 reporter Devin Feely on the search for clues and why neighbors aren't surprised by the violence. Police are still trying to piece together the motive to figure out exactly what triggered the shooting. But here's what we know for sure. Once the bullet stopped flying, two people were dead and three others injured. A witness who didn't want to talk on camera says the tables at Nuevo Vallarta were full. A live band was playing and the drinks were flowing. But a little before midnight, the gunfire began and the fun abruptly ended. Customers scattered, he said, and scrambled for safety. Five men were shot two would not survive the night. By daylight, investigators were still collecting evidence, bottles of beer visible on abandoned tables in front of the restaurant. The deadly shooting was the beginning of a violent night for San Jose police. Across town, four hours later, officers responded to a stabbing near Coyote Road and Del Ridge Drive. The victim, a man, was rushed to the hospital where he later died. This is unusual for a neighborhood like this. Uh, uh, have a stabbing or even a shooting. Police have not been able to pin down what led up to either crime. Neighbors suspect that people are simply stressed because of the pandemic. It's not a, a good situation at, at all, but I could probably understand the, the stress that people are going through, not enough to, to justify doing that. Police brought a canine unit to the scene of the stabbing as they searched for evidence in a suspect and neighbors reflected on the body count of a bloody night. I don't think it's, there's a word to describe what, what it would be to get stabbed. I mean, because, you know, you, it's, uh, you suffer. You suffer. You suffer a lot. It's been a long night and a long morning for investigators who are still here at the scene collecting evidence nearly 12 hours later. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.